weekly stock market update part five. The other parts are around here, so do have a look. We're going to look at individual stocks in a second, quite a lot of them. Uh, before I do that, just a reminder of the four new services that I've launched as part of the Great Investments Programme. They are exchange-traded funds. We look at the best performers and see if you project them forward. Can they give us at least 40% over the next 12 months? And is the risk, the stop loss, can that be sensibly put at uh, 20% so that you've got a multiple upside to downside? We do with hedge funds. We look at the ones which have generated 40% per annum over the last three years. And then we look at their picks, put them through our filters. That's the important part. Don't care whether it's hedge funds or my cat picking stock names. We put them through our filters and see if any of them can indeed project forward 40% based on existing trends, multiple upside to downside, and then we do that. So that's new to the program. Similarly, with the hedge funds, we look at which the elite banks like Goldman Sachs Wealth Management have just issued buys, buys on over the next over the past week, and then which ones have got 40% upside and multiple upside to downside reward to uh, risk. Tactical momentum intermediate term. These are not 12 month, but probably six month holdings. Again, looking for that 40% upside multiples uh, to downside and structured in a way that you're not risking more than 1% of your portfolio. All right. Uh, I won't go through all of this if you can read that quickly enough, or you can pause to see who it's for. Uh, people love this one. This is probably the most popular one. Okay. Uh, and you can see again who it's for. You can read that yourself. Uh, and this is, I guess, people say, well, but banks are always wrong. I agree with you. I, I've just done that, okay? Uh, taking it out of the banks just to then put it into our filters. Our filters are the important thing, and the 40% tracking is the important thing. So let's look at some of the biggest movers over the past month and see if any of them meet our criteria. Well, Whilst this is 789 on my value growth income criteria, which remember in the Great Investments Program, I give this database to my students and teach them how to use it. Uh, uh, so it meets our minimum criteria of 789 or 10. And I know these banks have all said buy. However, this is overbought. So it wouldn't be a special situation within the Great Investments Program. Outside of it, if you did think that trend can continue, you'd probably put a stop loss here because the price should have no business touching that if it's going to go in that direction. So that's a sensible place to put a stop. The amount of money you'd invest would be such that if the stop got hit, you wouldn't lose more than 1% of your portfolio. And, and you have multiple reward, i.e. 91% to downside risk, because if you do the maths, 91 is far greater than for half of uh, that, which is 45, half of 91, 45, 45 and a half in this case. Uh, uh, so you've got multiple upside to downside, okay? Uh, that's how you'd structure it. Super micro, they had problems with their auditors, absolute stinkers. I'm going to sort of leave this to one side whilst it's a seven. That decline is worrying me. Wouldn't touch it for that reason. Wells Fargo is a seven. That's overbought, so it can't be a special situation. Where would you put your stop loss? Probably here. Multiple upside to downside. Use the previous investment structuring that I taught you. NVIDIA 8, I continue holding this since last January when it came on our spreadsheet. However, it's overboard at the moment. So the only people who'd buy this would be either ones who are going to look at that multiple upside to downside and say, well, I just want to buy it. I want to hold it forever. Fine. Or say, well, no, I want to invest in it, but I'll put the stop there, multiple upside to downside, because I'm afraid it might drop to there. You're going to be one of those two in this environment. Okay, simple as that. Lidos Holdings doesn't meet our 7, 8, 9, or 10, so it wouldn't be one in our program, uh, is overbought. However, if you agree with that projection, you probably want to put a stop loss there, and then you can do the maths on how much money to put in. Multiple upside to downside is hit. Fine. Okay, by the way, just a reminder, we had in the past week my event in Parliament, which worked out rather well. I took some of my great investments program people out for pizza actually really simple but the event we had before business event there you go, uh, was in parliament lovely if you'd like to be invented invited to these in the future uh, keep an eye on my telegram channel arpishpatel.com forward slash links now where are we on costco again not part of the program because it's not seven eight nine or ten there's your upside your stop loss would probably have to be there uh, apple i continue holding actually i'm going to keep these for people on my program i'll tell them what my what i'm doing for people on the great investments program with amazon and they're doing rather well with it, uh, and Microsoft. I'll keep that for the program, otherwise people start getting really annoyed on the program. Oh, you're giving too much away. 
Don't forget YouTube. You can see me talking to Sally and much more. Part six of this. Well, have a look at arpishpatel.com forward slash links um, because part six is really a discussion also of, again, I'll do this on the private channel uh, and that's done really well, of uh, the program and why it's so good and why uh, we target these returns and how we target these kinds of returns over those periods by doing the analysis and so on. And we go through a lot of this stuff as well. And then seven, uh, I'll just do now, shows you, well, I'm on LinkedIn. Do follow me on LinkedIn because I've been given their top voice status. Okay, but how we avoid these kind of problems, these piss poor fund managers who end up always having to apologize uh, and funds like this, which lose 50% of your money. The Scottish Mortgage Investment Trust used to be good. Um, and why? Where When we go through our list, we sometimes do interesting tiebreakers. We've got a load of names. We say, well, has this hedge fund manager with 4.5 billion generating 52% per um, annum, have they got any stocks on our list? And if they have, then we'll, that's a tiebreaker. We'll go into that stock because it's already on our list. And the goal is to try and at least match, if not beat, obviously want to beat the S&P, the NASDAQ, and certainly avoid the UK, which gives you piss poor returns uh, generally. Don't see that changing anytime soon. Why? Because we want to double our money. If you get the returns uh, St. James's Place is giving you, it's going to take 17 years to double your money. If you get the returns which the S&P has done over the last 10 years in sterling terms, it'll take you five years to double your money. I'm trying to do it in 3.8 or less. Some years like this have been great, like last year was great. Therefore, yeah, it's great. Uh, and I've written everything I tell you is stuff I've written from my in my column in the Financial Times. I have 200 columns in the Financial Times. If you want a copy of the book with some of those columns in there and all the know-how from Nobel Prize winners, endorsed by hedge fund managers, Bloomberg TV presenters and Financial Times columnists, then have a look at apishpatel.com forward slash links. Okay? Um, because what we're really trying to do is this, avoid 25 years of pension pain. That's me in 1999, okay, where I said I am, I've been switching virtually all of my long-term holdings from UK into US stocks. 25 years later, to the month, UK pension funds allocation of British stocks hit historic low. But me, it took 25 years for the students to read my article, join the firms, and bloody ignore it before that, okay? Um, and then instead what they do is they have idiot groups like Blue Whale who lose a third pretty much of your pension or a quarter of your pension in a year. There's your professionals, quarter of your pension in a year. And it's not new. This is all the way from 2011, guys. Come on, this is not new. Okay, the problem is people do this. What they should be doing is just simply looking through my spreadsheet across the data, making sure it's all greens. I give my students this because they've got all these tabs and I break it down and then I teach them one-to-one -one based on their risk appetite what they might want to consider narrowing it down to. So based on their appetite, we work out that actually they want volatility of say 8% or less. Others who are more risk-loving, 20% or less and so on. You can really narrow it down. And if we've got tiebreakers, I give them the additional information what the hedge funds are doing what the gurus are holding and the most popular holding. So you can break, you know, you've got a list, you want to break it down. Anyway, rest of this, have a look at arpishpatel.com forward slash shares, if you want to know that. Um, uh, arpishpatel.com forward slash shares, how we use all of this information to make people, well, a hell of a lot more money than they're doing at the moment with their crappy little funds. And if you're with Fidelity or any of these, uh, then you really ought to look at arpishpatel.com forward slash shares. Because, quite frankly, uh, your analysts, your wealth managers, fund managers haven't got a bloody clue. And what they're doing is they're only looking at, say, valuation. They might even say, we've got value funds, we've got growth funds, we've got income funds. Well, that means they're only looking at some of the information, not all of it. Don't take my word for it. Nobel Prize winners and Warren Buffett will tell you you need to look at all the information, not just part of it, and go with your eyes bloody closed. The way we avoid the big declines like 2022 is if it's a daddy bear, we don't go in. What's a daddy bear? Moving average prices are falling below their own average from an overbought position, well, then you get the hell out of there. That's a mama bear, i.e. MACD is falling, but hasn't crossed below its own moving average, so you can ignore those falls. Baby bear, MACD is rising. Simple. Mummy 
baby daddy, okay? We handhold you through it. So what does performance look like? Well, it's not down to me. I'm not in charge of it. The markets are. And if we get great tailwind years, like 2020 and 2021, this is all on arpagebevel.com forward slash shares. You can see the results of this analysis uh, where we've looked at value, growth, income. I mean, you tell me if we miss something. Well, obviously not. Um, then some of the outlier best performers were like this. So how come we didn't get 200%? How come our performance wasn't 137? Well, because in our portfolio, there were at least 20 stocks. And that became what the average of the returns was. Okay. Uh, if you want to see last year, the year before, 2020 was zero, simple, because it was cash and the markets were falling. If you want to see 2023, 2020, 2021, forward slash shares. Okay, simple as that. Now, I am going to leave you with that. Look at this. This is the problem. That's from a fund manager called 91. They're paying you, charging you 10% in fees. You put 10,000 in, after five years, you'll be paying 10%. You didn't think you were paying that much. You are. Check, 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 check. That's why I get lovely emails from people like this who say, look, I only got 20% growth in 10 years, been following your weekly report, and I've got 20% this year already. It's my job to empower you. Listen, guys, I'm going to go, uh, but what I am going to say is have a look at arpachpatel.com forward slash shares, have a look at arpachpatel.com forward slash links, and you'll get the books from there. Send me your portfolio if you want me to analyze it. You can do that through arpachpatel.com forward slash links. And... Um, yeah, I look forward to speaking to you. Might see you at a future parliamentary event. Follow me on LinkedIn. All of that stuff is on arpishpatel.com forward slash links. Okay, thank you.